Let's take a look at finding the least squares regression line on a TI3, TI4. First, let me go make up a problem. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and uh, 12, 37, 41, 53, and 54. And let's go ahead and put these in our calculator. So I'm going to press STAT, do ENTER on EDIT. Now press DELETE over and over to clean out the numbers that are there, if there is any, on yours. Okay, in L1 we're going to put 1 through 5, our X values. So do 1 ENTER, 2 ENTER, 3 ENTER, 4 ENTER, 5 ENTER. Now press my right arrow key, and I got 12 and 37, so 12 ENTER, 37 ENTER. 41 inner, 53 inner, and 54 inner. Now I'm going to exit out, so I do a second mode. <coughs> and we're going to press stat. Actually, before I do that, let me exit out again. Second mode. If you've done the previous video I created with the correlation coefficient, this should be set. But um, make sure diagnostics is on. So we'll do second, zero to go on the catalog and then we'll go down to the D's and you can down arrow all the way down there if you want which isn't too bad or you can do alpha and then D so alpha that's X to negative one twice and I'll take you down to your D's <coughs> Excuse me. and again the one I want is diagnostics on which is right there so after I get it uh, the little marker next to it we'll press enter twice and now you're set up you shouldn't have to set that again Okay, now we're going to find it. So press STAT, right arrow to CALC. We're going to choose number 4. You can press number 4 and choose it, or you can down arrow and highlight it and press ENTER. And then we'll press ENTER again. Wow, I couldn't have planned something nicer than that. Now our, our least squares regression is usually of this form. We put a Y hat on there. The y hat means it's an approximate. Uh, now see how a is 10 here? We're going to plug 10 in for the a. So we're going to have 10x and b was 9.4. So plug in 9.4 for that. And that's our, our um, least squares regression equation on a TI3, TI4.